Ninja Titan 3. Is this it? So the gist of this battle is fight a shitload of enemies. Once you beat them, her little ward shit will become pus infected and we can attack it and blow up her fucking ligaments. And, um, I hope you liked that description. It took me a couple of seconds to think of. But, um, another thing that, um, I guess if you're a hard, hard fan, you would recognize is that earlier in the, um, uh, the same level, we saw some crows and stuff. And that's not too much of an indication of anything, but as you can see the crows flying around in this area right now, it's, um, actually foreshadowing in a sense. So, um, other than that, um, I'll talk about some few specifics for this battle, but I'm mostly going to be quiet for this episode, so just enjoy what happens. So this is what happens when you destroy your wart. Ligaments go fucking flying off and shit. And um... Here we need the wall climb, and um, these nasty looking tentacles try to pierce us and we just have to dodge them. And um, it, it gives you a lot of time, and um, yeah, so let's take that off. She does not like that, but who cares what she feels like because she's ugly. And let's stab this, and double slashed, and holy shit, that's gonna suck for her. Alright, uh, so let's kill this old hag, and this is pretty much the last area that we need to really cut off, but it's the longest because this ward thing just doesn't die for shit. There's a larger area, error, well, area, larger amount of enemies, and, um, well, I'll talk about more things as they occur, so just watch. Okay, so a few things happen right there. Basically, she doesn't want to die and shit, so she summons beams from her mouth and the tentacles to stop us. So Moment G can temporarily block the beams from hurting us, in which case we have to pretty much run and do as much damage to the little wart thing as we can. But at the same time, little tentacles and shit will be attacking us and if you didn't kill all the ninjas in the same amount of time then they will be attacking you as well so that becomes a triple fuck of just gay and um that's what makes this boss battle hard if at all um in my opinion it's a pretty easy boss battle because the damage comes from the enemies and if you're good at dodging then i mean in any case you pretty much be a-okay but um that's the gist of the boss, so um, I'll let the rest play out.
So with that gone and Momoji smacked, we go for the head, the final war thing. And she's dead, and another thing is, uh, she's fucking disgusting looking, just, just if I didn't say that before. First pulses tells me it has infested your entire body. How do I get rid of it? I do not know. Long ago there was once a dragon ninja afflicted by a similar curse. In the end, he was swallowed by the darkness. Only his dragon sword remained. The dragon sword was a gift meant to be used to slay the archfiend. But it became polluted by the souls of its countless victims. The sorcery cast upon you has caused that pollution to fester and be absorbed into your very body. The curse of the Dragon Sword is the karmic retribution for all the deeds committed by the Dragon Clan over these countless generations. There are still things I have to do. It's not an easy thing to live in the darkness. But there are times when we must face the darkness and overcome it, or else. And that is the end of this amazing chapter, and um, we will continue at another time, but um, here's all this time I've been playing this shit. Um, and uh, my skills are one out. I just love how my shit keeps resetting. I don't know why this game is doing this to me, but golly gee, I wonder why. Um, I think it's all the new updates that keep resetting my shit. Or I, I just got the one game that fucking just loves to do this shit to me. Either way, I don't care too much, but um, yeah. So with that gone, and Momoji smacked. We go for the head, the final wart thing.